You're listening to Innovation at Zoetis. With us today is Dr. Andrea Gonzalez, Senior Research Director, Companion Animal Research. We're talking about new scientific insights into the biology of skin allergy conditions in dogs and how those insights led to new targeted approaches to treatment. Andrea, how did dermatology and skin allergy become an area of scientific interest to you and, and your colleagues? I think there were several motivators for us. The first I can think of is when we were talking with veterinarians many years ago, is that they were telling us they were seeing a lot of itchy dogs in their clinics on a weekly basis. And now we recognize that number can be as high as one in six dogs that are coming into their practices complaining of itch. Many of them will be treated, but then some of them will eventually be diagnosed with allergic skin disease. So a second thing we were hearing from them was that they wanted better therapies for treating allergic skin diseases in dogs. It tends to be a condition that you treat over the lifetime of the animal. So what they wanted was something that would work very quickly, um, that would allow them to continue to do their diagnostic workup if they chose to do so. Um, and they also knew that they would have to likely treat these animals long term, so they wanted something very safe as well as effective. So they were really wanting something different than what they had, and we felt that was an opportunity for us at Zoetis to provide a really innovative solution for them. And then I think finally, on a personal note, we all have dogs, and many of us have struggled with dogs with allergic skin disease, so we also wanted to have the opportunity to deliver something innovative. And uh, it's an exciting area for us, and we have not had a shortage of people who wanted to work in this area. Well, speaking of exciting area, there really has been much excitement in animal health and, and in human medicine, too, about identifying the tar you know, targets uh, that play a significant role in causing allergic skin conditions. Um, what led you and, and other Zoetis scientists to believe that interleukin-31 was the target in dogs? Well, IL-31 is a cytokine. It's a protein that's produced by a very specific immune cell. And very early on, we felt that cytokines were driving many of the clinical signs associated with allergic skin disease. It is a very complex disease, and many times the pet owners will will notice within their dog that they're becoming very itchy, and maybe there's something wrong with their skin, maybe there's an infection, maybe the skin's looking a bit red or maybe losing some hair. And those things can sound very different from one another, but all of those clinical signs can really be driven by cytokines that are overproduced in the animal when they're not supposed to be produced. So as we explored which cytokines might be playing a role in driving many of those clinical signs, we started studying what was dysregulated in atopic dermatitis dogs versus normal dogs, and we found that IL-31 was upregulated or present at a higher level in AD dogs versus normal dogs. We then continued to do our research, and when we made the canine version of IL-31, we found that when we injected that into laboratory beagles, it caused them to become very itchy. And finally, as we continued to study it a bit more, we were finding that IL-31 could produce a lot of pro-inflammatory cytokines from immune cells. So there are a lot of pieces of evidence that were suggesting to us that IL-31 was a very important mediator in this disease. And knowing that about IL-31, tell us about the therapeutic approaches that you pursued to target it. Sure. We spent a lot of time trying to understand the role of IL-31 in dogs, like I just explained. We've been interested in understanding where it comes from in the body, oh, when it's produced, and then when it is produced, what is it doing to other cells and tissues. So because of that time we've spent trying to understand, really at the mechanistic level, how IL-31 how IL-31 works, we came up with two different types of ways to target or neutralize IL-31. One is Apoquel, and that's a Janus kinase inhibitor. It's given as an oral tablet to dogs on a daily basis, and it will inhibit a variety of cytokines, just not IL-31, but also IL-4, IL-13, IL-6, and the way that that 
molecule works is when the cytokines are trying to activate cells, Epiquel will stop its ability, those cytokines' ability to activate signal transduction pathways or certain signals within the cell. We have a second therapy, Cytopoint, which is a monoclonal antibody, and that works a little bit differently. It binds specifically to IL-31 and neutralizes its effects, and it's given as a monthly injectable. So that's our first monoclonal antibody therapy that we've delivered to the market. And again, it'll bind IL-31, neutralize its effects within the body, and actually prevents it from even touching a cell or activating a cell, and is very effective at breaking that cycle of itch and inflammation in the animals. And you've uh, found out that Cytopoint, or it, it, in the way it works, can be effective in other allergic conditions in dogs, not just atopic dermatitis. Tell, tell us more about that. Yes, we recently received exciting news from the USDA that they granted us an expanded claim for Cytopoint. Not only can Cytopoint be used to treat atopic dermatitis in dogs, but now it can also be used to treat allergic dermatitis in dogs. So that allows for it to be used a little bit more broadly, and it also allows for more flexibility uh, with the veterinarian and their patient to really customize the treatment for uh, dogs and their owners. It must be rewarding for you as a scientist to see new insights become new therapies that, that change the way we treat different diseases. Yes, it's very exciting, especially when you spend so much time in research on a project and that eventually reaches the market and it provides a great solution to a customer and their pet. Well, thank you, Dr. Gonzalez. We've, we've been talking about new scientific insights into the pathways of allergic skin conditions in dogs. And you can find more information by visiting www.itchcycle.com. That's itchcycle.com. I'm Eleanor White, reporting for Innovation at Zoetis.